print on demand sales in a specific niche are blowing up right now and there's still time to jump on this. That is the teacher niche, which blows up every year around back to school season taking place in August and September. So let's take a look at the product research to identify some best selling teacher inspired designs backed by data. And then I'm going to walk you through a step by step tutorial on how to capitalize on this trend so you can make more sales and grow your brand. Also, be sure to watch until the end for a bonus tip on how to leverage what is shown in this video, even if you're not in the teacher niche. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Adrian, a self-employed entrepreneur who's generated multiple millions in sales across two apparel brands, and I help people make money online with Shopify and print on demand. My goal is to create the most positive and supportive community of print on demand sellers here on YouTube. So if that's you, join us by subscribing and interacting in the comments. I hopped into Etsy, which is one of my favorite places for product research and using my Everbee Chrome extension, we can see that there are currently 2,300 monthly searches for the term teacher signaling strong demand. Right away, we can see a number of popular now and best-selling teacher-inspired designs, and that's even before I filtered by bestseller. To filter by bestseller, just tap all filters, physical items, star seller, show results. From here, I'll go to the URL and I'm just gonna change the word star to best. And now you can see here, we have a bestseller filter. For some reason, Etsy doesn't offer this bestseller filter option, but this little hack still allows you to filter by bestseller. Here we can see lots of popular now and best-selling products, primarily apparel products like t-shirts and sweatshirts. And I don't know if you caught this, but there's already a design trend that I've noticed amongst a number of these best sellers, and that's the pattern text designs. So we've got this blue comfort colors t-shirt with a pattern text. We've got this blue Gildan 18,000. It looks like sweatshirt with a floral pattern text. We've got this green shirt with a checkered pattern text. And if you go down, you can see there's another one with coquette. There's just a number of pattern text designs here. Another one right here. I think you get the idea. Next, to get a quick sales snapshot and to see which designs are selling best, I'm going to use Everbee to view the product analytics. Everbee is my favorite product research tool because it allows you to quickly find winning products that you can use to create original designs for your niche inspired by best sellers. You can try Everbee for free by clicking the link below this video or get a special offer on the growth plan, which is what I use. I sorted by estimated monthly revenue in the last month and check out some of these sales numbers. This is actually pretty crazy. This tote, this teacher appreciation gift tote is estimated to be making $18,000 in sales in the last month. The growth rate has dropped by 86%, but still those are really high revenue numbers. And this is almost two years old. This next one, $10,000 in revenue in the last 30 days. I'm going to skip this one because I believe they're infringing on Disney and I would never recommend infringing on any copyrights or trademarks. So we're just going to ignore that one. This next one here, teacher comfort color shirt. This is a yellow comfort color shirt with a doodle art design style estimated to be making $3,400 in the last month with a 200% growth rate. And check this out. It's only two months old. Next, we've got this floral pattern text sweatshirt. Looks like a Gildan 18,000. And this one's estimated to have made $2,500 in revenue in the last month. And even though it has a 0% growth rate, those are still some strong sales numbers and it's only five months old. Let's check out one more here. This fifth grade t-shirt custom colors. It's estimated to have made $2,100 in revenue in the last month, but check out that growth rate, 1600%. And it's only one month old. I also want to point out one more really cool Everbee feature. This is actually a newer feature. They now show the growth rate on the chart here along with the trends. And you can actually filter by growth rate. This is going to be very powerful when trend spotting. So essentially you're filtering by the shirts that are trending the most right now, which we can then reverse engineer and use as inspiration for the designs that we release for our niche. So there's that fifth grade shirt again, up 1600%, only one month old. This pattern text teach shirt, $1,900 in revenue in the last month, 600% growth rate. It's only three months old. This doodle art shirt, we already looked at it, but $3,400, 200% growth rate, only two months old. So a number of these shirts are trending right now.
but let's go ahead and drill down on one of these. I'm actually gonna drill down on this doodle art design. I just popped into the Etsy listing. Here we can see it has the bestseller badge. Five people bought this in the last 24 hours. And if we scroll down and sort by most recent reviews, we can see that there's a number of recent reviews. Let's analyze the listing using Everbee. Here we can see a bunch of the general sales data, but I really like to go down and look at the trends graph. So here we see that 200% growth rate, 81 sales estimated in the last month. But I also like to look at the lifetime of a listing to see how it's been performing. So we know that this listing is around two months old and check out that growth curve up and to the right. That is exactly what you want to see when trend spotting. It's estimated to have made 98 sales, $4,100 in revenue with an 8,100% growth rate. And I only expect this to continue climbing in the lead up to back to school season. So now that you know that the teacher niche is trending and we've seen lots of sales validation, let's create a trendy t-shirt for this niche in two steps. Step one, let's create our design. I'm gonna create this design using Playground. This is one of the most popular AI design tools for Shopify and Etsy sellers because it's simple to use. They have thousands of trendy design templates and they're very clear in their terms that these can be used for print on demand. I'm gonna start by tapping the t-shirt category. This is gonna pull up what seems like an endless number of t-shirt templates to work from. I did wanna point out too, that they actually have categories across the top here, many times based on current trends. So right here, we can see back to school but I just wanna go through here and find one with a pattern text that we can use as inspiration to create our own. We've got this one here, we've got that one, we've got a number of pattern text designs actually already showing up. This fall one right here, we've got a teacher design right here. So I chose this template here, which is kind of what I'm going for, but what I wanna do is I actually wanna make it have that checkered pattern text. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select the 4.0 image. I'll input a prompt. So I just said, what if it said teach with a black and white checkered pattern? I'll tap create. And in less than 60 seconds, this is what Playground created, which is exactly what I'm going for. Remember too, that you can always continue prompting the design until you're happy. But I'm happy with this design, so I'm just gonna tap export. I'll upscale and remove background and then download the upscale design. And side note, you can try Playground out for free by clicking the link below this video. And as always, I've included my links below to all of my favorite print on demand tools along with any free trials, discounts, or special offers. Thank you in advance for using any of those links. Sponsors and affiliates, they support this channel at no extra cost to you and allow me to create more free content like this that I hope you're loving as much as I love creating. Step two, let's add our design to a trendy t-shirt. I'm gonna start by hopping into Printify, which is one of my favorite POD companies because it has over a thousand products to sell, low production costs, and a large network of production partners all around the world, including Printful. You can try Printify for free by clicking the link below this video and use code ADRIAN30 for 30 days of free premium membership. So I popped into my account and from the catalog, I'm just gonna go under women's clothing and select t-shirts. And we're gonna put our design on a comfort colors tee, which is one that I saw a lot amongst the best sellers that we were looking at earlier. From the editor, the first thing I like to do is select the color. So I'm just gonna tap the edit tool, select variants. And because this is a darker design, I only wanna put it on lighter colored shirts. So I'm gonna keep this one really simple. I'll keep it on the white and then I gotta put it on that ivory because that color is just so trendy right now. Next, I'm just gonna drag my design onto the mock-up. I'll adjust the sizing and the placement and then tap preview to see a more realistic view of the shirt. So here I can see what it looks like on the ivory and then I can also see what it looks like on the white. Also, here's what it looks like on a trendy mock-up that I purchased on Etsy. Here in the mock-up library, you can see all of the different mock-ups provided by Printify. You could upload your own like the Etsy mock-up I just showed you. Or if you have a Placeit account like me, you can create Placeit mock-ups. Placeit has the world's largest mock-up library with over 40,000 mock-ups to choose from across countless product types, and they now have a direct integration with Printify. If you wanna check it out, I've included a link below this video. When you're happy with your mock-ups, tap Save Selection. This will take us to the product details page. So from here, I would go ahead and fill out all these listing details, and then I would have Printify automatically publish this to my Shopify store. And now for the bonus tip. Although many of the strategies I teach can work for both Shopify and Etsy, the high majority of my sales have always come from building brands on Shopify that serve just one niche, what's called niching down. 
This is not only a powerful differentiator, but it significantly increases the likelihood of brand loyalty, bigger orders being placed by shoppers, and repeat sales. Three things you should always want for building a profitable and sustainable brand. But a simple way to leverage the design research like we did here for the teacher niche, even if you're not in the teacher niche, is to reverse engineer the virality of the designs and apply them to your niche. Combining popular design trends such as popular coquette style bows in your designs, a trendy t-shirt style like comfort colors, in trendy colors like pepper or ivory, is something I call trend stacking, and it can be a very powerful sales strategy. For example, this best-selling t-shirt has made 20 sales in the last 24 hours. It's only one month old, and it's a great example of trend stacking. This design features a number of trendy elements like coquette style bows, cheetah print, hearts, and flowers. They're selling this design on the Comfort Colors 17170T, which is one of the trendiest print-on-demand t-shirts of 2025, and they're featuring it on one of the best-selling colors, that is ivory. They're also using a trendy mock-up that was purchased on Etsy. In fact, this is the exact mock-up that they purchased on Etsy from Watermelon Mocks that anyone can purchase and use. So here they're trend stacking all of that stuff and combining it with a very passionate niche, the teacher niche. Now, just to be clear, I never ever recommend stealing designs, but instead reverse engineer the details of a successful product like this and apply those trendy elements and styles to your niche. Although the design itself is almost always the top reason someone buys, these details really do matter and can be the difference between making the sale and not making the sale. If you're enjoying these niche alert videos and wanna see more like this, comment the word niche below so I know to keep them coming. As always, I've created a bunch of free resources which you can find below, including my podcast called the Print On Demand Podcast, where I teach business and marketing strategies to make money online with Shopify and Print On Demand.